So, uh, Rich, I'm, I'm curious as to how you how you fell in with these guys. Oh God, uh, I got arrested. <laughs> no, no. Um, I uh, we were on a sketch show together. It was called Unnatural Acts in 1990. Unnatural Acts. Unnatural Acts. 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 A C D S. And um, me, uh, Laura Julian, and Sean Cohen were completely unsuccessful show. <laughs> yeah. And um, we just said, well, hey, let's do a show after this. We did Edinburgh. Yeah. Yeah, and you came over here, and that was it. Yeah. We won. We're going to do it with Sean Cohen, actually. It's going to be Sean yeah. Cohen, you, and us too. And he was doing a one person show, and he couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We asked him to shake him up, so. <laughs> He won't talk to us. <laughs> yeah, we, flew, we flew Richard over for the radio show as well, which is, yeah, it's hardly a night for radio show, and it's not hard to fly somewhere on their leg. The BBC were like, what? Oh, it's a radio show, there's no money to do that. We, like, no, we need it, we need it, so it's quite fun. They said that never happened before in the history of it. I didn't demand to be flown, though. You wanted to was my agent. You wanted to walk. <laughs> <laughs> we, had to, we had to record it. No, so yeah, we, uh, it just sort of turned out that way. It wasn't any plan. It just sort of. Yeah. Oh, Rich, you like English? I like English. My sense of humor is more English style anyway. Really? What, like, what is that? Well, I mean, I grew up. I don't up, think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I grew up. Long I mean, five I mean, pounds on my head. Yeah, that's that's okay, sorry. Rich is very exotic in England because you know, back here he's got no powers. He's like a superman near Kryptonite back here. Everyone's like Rich. But back here, I can't even lift this table up. <laughs> but in England, people go, wow, he's crazy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What, was, uh, what was uh, Steve Coogan's role in, in your career? It, from, from my distance, it almost looked like Robert like, the Johnny Carson effect, like if you do Johnny Carson. He just effect. used to come around and make his tea while we were writing. <laughs> <laughs> he he saw us in Edinburgh, uh, and that's how he uh, got into the show. And, yeah. and he had a production company, and he said, We've got to get these, I want to work with these guys. Um, we, don't, we don't really see much of him, you know. Oh. He drifts in and out every now and again. He comes in, suggests some jokes, yeah, yeah. and disappears. But he was good actually, he's a big fan and he wanted to make it because he had a production. So he had a, he had a lot of uh, sway with the, the people from the BBC, you know. It, it, seem, it seems to be a pretty tight comedy community over there. Every, everybody seems to be appearing on everybody else's shows. Yeah. It's as tight yeah. as There aren't many guys, funny yeah. people. There's <laughs> 26 funny people. It's really annoying. Oh, all right, you can do it again. But, um, no, we're friends with Garth and Marenghi and... There's people with similar sense yeah. the IT crowd and, 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 yeah. Yeah, and all that kind of friendships made at Edinburgh really at the fringe. Yeah, yeah. And Garth Marenghi did their first ever gig in our club. Uh, we had a club in Islington that we used to do every Monday to work new material on the Edinburgh festivals all the time. They did their first gig there. And um, they used to sort of do us a song every week. They, they, they got a TV show actually before us. Hmm. Who were pretty good stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> they were 12. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.